should I use shavings or hay for trailer bedding? And should I tie my horse in the trailer? The other day he fell down and I'm worried he's going to hurt himself. Ooh. So there's Lots three, of great ones in here. The, yeah, there's three questions, right? There's the what bedding to use for trailers, um, mm -hmm. and should you tie your horse in a trailer? And, and then the one I had was why, did, why does a horse fall down in the trailer? Yeah. yeah. So we'll talk about all, all those. But as far as bedding, um, that is uh, controversial. Mm -hmm. Some people don't use bedding and some do. And the main pros and cons I think about bedding is the, the reason to use it would be traction. Mm -hmm. So if a horse, if there's manure or urine in the trailer on the floor, it could get slippery, mm -hmm. which could be a reason for falling. Um, the reason, one reason not to use bedding is it can get dusty. Yep. So I have a horse with airway disease and I don't want shavings, because you have to keep the windows open and you're driving maybe at 65 miles an hour. Um, and the, it, can, it can swirl around in there and get in their eyes and get in their uh, nasal passages. And, and um, that's, that's a solid reason not to use bedding. But maybe you could find a bedding that is not so dusty mm. or light. Okay. I tried um, newspaper. I was just going to say shredded paper. Shredded paper was excellent as far as there's no dust. However, it's very, very light. Mm. Now, what many people do is they dampen the bedding before they go, and that keeps it down. So you could you could dampen sawdust or shavings. You could dampen newspaper. What I went to was cardboard. Oh. Again, it's no dust, but it's a little bit heavier. Yeah. And it absorbs and provides. It also provides them with some cushion. Now, my trailer has the rumbar flooring footing, mm -hmm. so it's very cushy, very, very, very cushy, but um, I, the cardboard worked worked well for me. So that's some things to think about as far as bedding. And a great way to recycle materials. Yeah. So her other question was, should you tie horse in the trailer? Um, and and I, I thought about this one. It depends. It depends on the kind of trailer you have. Like if you have a, a stock trailer or you're in a, using a van with a box stall, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have to tie because, I mean, they're supposed to walk around. Yeah. Um, if you have a, uh, a slant load or a straight load, you have to tie because they can get their head and neck in places where it shouldn't be uh. and do some serious damage. I mean, it, it can even be life threatening. Yeah. And when I um, have a horse and trailer, I like to use a breakaway halter because I, if there's a serious problem, I want them either to be able to get out of it themselves or may they be able to get them out of it. And if, if you use a leather halter, um, it'll either break or I can cut it pretty yes. quickly versus nylon or rope. Those scare me a little bit. The other thing I recommend, I've had these in my trailer so long, they do not look like this anymore. Um, they're called tie safe trailer ties. And they're made of Velcro up here. And so if something happens and the horse can actually Hole hard enough that this releases Got and it, it comes apart uh -oh. and then they have a little section of lead rope of tie on them. That's another safety um, safety tool I use. So that way you can tie him so he's safe for the majority of it. But if you need to get him out or if, if he needs to get himself out, he can with enough force. Yeah. That's a great one because I know a lot of people do get questioning like should I tie, should I not tie yeah. if we do get into a situation. Yeah, it's. Um, I think you're better off tying. Um, there, there, there is a, a thing, horses need to put their heads down in order to drain their nostrils. Because mm -hmm. when they trailer, especially one like mine that has airway disease, when their head's tied up, they can't clear their nasal passages, their respiratory tract, and so a, a lot of gunk gets in there and they can really cough and carry on when they're done and have a lot of discharge. On the other hand, if you let them get their heads down too low in the wrong type of trailer, and you have an abrupt stop. I mean, that's that's just a disaster. Asking for a recipe of disaster. Yeah. Speaking of abrupt stops, um, she said, did you say your horse fell or? Said the other day he fell down and I'm worried he's gonna hurt himself. Wow, um, I. And I'm assuming it's in the trailer, didn't specify, yeah, but I'm assuming, yeah, related to the question. that would have been a much bigger yeah. deal. I'm not sure why her horse fell. There are horses known as scramblers. Mm -hmm. Um, have you had one of those? I have been, knock on wood, lucky. I, yeah, Mine are not good either. trailers. Not either. i um, seen a lot of horses with injuries. And by the way, they say before you put on, say, uh, shipping boots we have back there or shipping quilts, uh, make sure your horse knows how to wear them because okay. 
they can actually do more damage wearing protective gear if they don't if they aren't used to it or accustomed to it. If it's, it's like the first time you put shipping boots on your horse and then you walk him in the trailer. I mean, if you've ever seen well, one walk, I was going to say, we all see when you first put like shipping boots on your mm -hmm. horse and they do that weird walk where they come mm -hmm. like this. Let him practice a little bit first, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but the scrambling is, is like on corners and things. And I'm thinking that might be just because the driver is less experienced and is not taking the corner as slow as they need mm -hmm. to. The other thing is, this is easier. Okay. Maybe. I was going to say, put a coffee on the dash and see how you do. And so when you drive, you shouldn't spill it. Mm -hmm. And if you if you do, you're driving too fast for your trailer, and that might be why the horse is falling. So that's a great point. And you know, a lot of times some horses are newer to trailering, so they might be a little more nervous and a little more scrambling. Horses got to practice. Drivers got to practice. For sure. Yeah. So kind of a full management mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. there, learning process. Yeah. I mean, when I first learned to drive a, tra a trailer, I drove it a lot without a horse in the back. Yes. Because I wanted to figure out how to slowly come to a stop slowly start you know you don't want to have a abrupt stops or jackrabbit start mm. um, and the cornering is is tricky and people behind you will want you to go faster yes. and I always think about I don't know who that is I'm never gonna see them again but the love of my life is in the back of my oh. trailer and I'm I'm driving for him not the person behind me that's a great point you yeah. don't know who that person is not your responsibility not my responsibility